Hi, welcome to the latest installment of the Irish Ancestors video series. Um, today is uh, one of the small series, sub-series, on the origins of Irish surnames. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Norman surnames, so let's get straight to it and go to the site, which I'm going to use as the jumping off point um, for for uh, our, our little adventure today. Um, away to the site with us. Right, here we are at the homepage. I'm going to go straight into the area that deals with um, surname origins. It's under surname article, surname data, and then surname origins. And here we have the Normans. Okay, you click on the, the, the name of the, the type of surname origin, and you get a list of surnames. And this is, is more information on the Normans themselves. Um, the Nor Normans are kind of... In some ways, uh, they're more Irish than the, the Irish themselves. This is an old cliche about the Normans being assimilated. They did it everywhere. They conquered and they basically absorbed the, the people's ways and um, became more more Sicilian than the Sicilians themselves and so on. Um, in, in Ireland, a, a lot of that had to do with surnames. They arrived in the 12th century just as surnames were being adopted by the native Gaelic Irish and the, the uh, true hereditary single generation surnames, I mean, and the, the Normans really threw themselves into this with, with verve. So a lot of what you call Norman surnames are actually Irish surnames. So let's just go and look at the list. So uh, uh, let me just go down here to say Barry. Okay, very numerous, Munster and South Leinster. Let's just show you how numerous. Okay, there you are, the whole of Munster infested by Barry's. Um, Anglo-Normans who became Gaelicized and now an essentially Irish name. The same is true of, for example, Burke. Let's try Burke. Very numerous, all provinces, de Burka, one of the great Anglo-Norman families, completely Gaelicized. So uh, when you say the Norman origins, hmm, for example, Fitzgerald is clearly Fitz, Fitz meaning um, the Norman French son of and Gerald, the son of Gerald. Um, and the, the, there is actually a historical Gerald um, who, who was the, the origin of the family. Um, but if you hear somebody called Fitzgerald now, as in John Fitzgerald Kennedy, for example, um, they're almost certainly of Irish origin. Um, my favourite in all of these is Walsh. Let's go down to the very bottom here uh, under W for Walsh and see what it says. Okay. Walsh, 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 Walsh. Very numerous. The fourth most common surname. In Irish, the Irish version of the surname is Brathnach. Brathnach comes from Bratham, which is the old Gaelic name for Wales. So Walsh literally means Welsh. OK, and it was common amongst the Anglo-Norman invaders from the 12th century on because they came from Wales. So a lot of them were Welsh. And but the surname Walsh is now quintessentially Irish. So th this is um, I hope you're getting some sense of the, the the wonderful weirdness of Irish surnames and of the fact that there are supposedly Norman surnames that are actually deeply Irish um the i leave you here to with these to to that there were there have been various attempts over the years to attach norman surnames to um for example the 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 more anglophile of our two standard political parties Fine Gael and gaelic surnames to Fianna Fáil, but they're ridiculous at this stage at a remove of seven eight centuries um the, these things have become completely um, intermingled. So a Norman surname means nothing ethnically. Um, Anglo-Norman, Cambro-Norman, Welsh-Norman, really Hiberno-Norman is what they are. Okay, So enjoy the full list of the Hiberno-Norman um, surnames. And you will see as well, let me go back up to the top, um, if you want to search the blog archive for Normans, um, there you are. You can get a lot more about them there. Um, and 
Normans in the old Irish roots columns. Um, uh, again, about surnames and so on and so forth. So um, I hope I've just given you a, a little introduction, whetted your appetite, um, and given you a reason to, um, to, to wade in past your ankles. Enjoy.